Hello everyone, welcome back to this uh, episode of Bitcoin Trade, and uh, this is uh, Mount Gox here. It looks like it was trying to level off, and then I guess uh, a lot of people heard the news about uh, the uh, withdrawals being, um, the, the halt on withdrawals still continuing. So I, I'm assuming that that's what this is, and um, ironically, um, Man, I've been making little strategic buys here and there for for these prices. Um, at a hundred, hundred is that one hundred forty now? Yep, one hundred forty. At these prices, man, you, I, I can't. I mean, if you're stuck here, you might as well just go ahead and buy the damn thing. Um, it's it's so cheap. But there's some issues coming up with uh, regarding Mount Gox here. Okay, this is a Mount Gox, um, and uh, this is the Mount Gox price here. Uh, let's let's go over a few here. Let's see here. Uh, Mount Gox investor fury at Mount Gox delays. Um, here's another one and some other news, but continues to blame Bitcoin. And then um, here here's an article. So this is off of CoinDesk, and um, I'm I'm mostly getting Bitcoin news from CoinDesk now because they they seem to really talk about relative things about about Bitcoin um, you know you don't you don't you don't hear the uh, the Bitcoin is dead or some doom and gloom news I, I want to hear real news what's going on not not someone's opinion uh, especially from from someone who is a who used to work at a Federal Reserve or, or some other weird stuff like that um, you know I want to hear news from from Bitcoin as how relative to to what Bitcoin is is doing, not what people think Bitcoin is and or or they think the end of Bitcoin. Um, so I want to hear what what real people in the real world and how they're using Bitcoins and and stuff like that. That's the kind of news I'm interested in. So um, I'm looking at this Bitcoin price hits one one thirty five and it yes it did. Um, I was a little bit sleep but I already saw it hit at one. Uh, one something already, uh, one 140, so 135 is not that bad. Um, and the price, man, 130, wow, that's awesome. Uh, so here's the article, and it's written by this person on this day, okay. And there's some things I like to uh, confirm and not confirm or, or say that uh, um, I'm not sure what's going on, but, but here's a uh, uh, you can't quite see it, but basically, um, this user must have been new because um, it's reading here that attention users all withdraw and deposit require account verification. Increase your account security by visiting your se your security center. Let me see your account uh, verification request has been received and will be reviewed the next 20 business days. All verification which are not Japanese English and blah blah blah. Reviewed next 20 business. Please contact support. Okay, so um, <clears throat> looks like this person just set up an account and sent over the paperwork which I had when I did it it was you know uh, your, your a government issued ID which has to be current and, and a high resolution copy um and a current um a current bill a current bill that um utility bill or something re um associated with the address that's also on your identification so um so I'm in America I usually be a a, a driver's license or identification license from from the state usually helps it has your ID has a picture of you and all that has you know your number and then uh, a, a bill right like a phone bill um, a trash bill water bill anything like that um, so uh, that's when I signed up it was it was that easy just to do something like that um, they didn't they did not request uh, my my I don't believe they request my social security number I'm not sure um, but if they did I, I gave it to them if, if they did I'm not sure but I, I, you know, that's when I, when I did it. Um, but interestingly enough, you could uh, start trading right away, without, 
without the uh, verification you just had to sign up and then you can start trading but they still waited for you to become verified before you could actually withdraw so this is nothing um, I don't recall this as being any different um, but this part right here is still the same when I log in it's um, <clears throat> it says the same thing so this must have been a new account so um, I, I, I can kind of verify but not verify this uh, if they are starting to accept accounts um, I don't know how long the verification takes now for me it was uh, which, which is kind of interesting uh, Mount Gox actually uh, I don't know if it's a customer service problem or if it really does take that long to verify but uh, it took me a while to actually um, get verified at Mount Gox versus the other accounts I had to um, I think resend my 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 photo ID they say was not good enough uh, do it at higher resolution and and basically I, I just have a little uh, uh, portable scanner that's I, that's all I have I don't have a little flat um, scanner like a copier or anything so anyways um, so that's that this is what I think what what is going on here as far as this particular uh, account that it must have been recently created and they're verifying uh, you could probably start putting money in or um, <clears throat> well at least you could probably start putting bitcoins in and start trading but if you want to take it out they were uh, I believe they were already doing this before so this is nothing nothing new or I don't believe it is related to to anything so so here's they're talking about very has been required for depositing and withdrawing uh, fiat currencies okay yeah uh, I think for depositing money but uh, I think you're still if you have Bitcoin you can just deposit bitcoins and so that's kind of the issue with this let me similar that the other exchanges blah 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 okay <clears throat> and then there was another one where they're talking about they moved and uh, they're not sure if it's a virtual office what it is but I can I can actually confirm that so I have the um, it's here and they actually have an update to an update <clears throat> on this but there's uh, there's uh, here it is for the move and then in, in the article it, it states that they they're moving for security reasons they had a break in um, which may or may not be true but this this update basically is in the article word for word and uh, you know it's it's hard to 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 figure out what's really going on because there's there was a lot of things that happened and and they were they were confirmed uh, throughout the rest of the week um, so right now this is the statement that they put out I have to just accept that statement you know and and you know just deal with it um, it doesn't affect me that much because um, I'm still trading at Mount Gox I mean the prices are so incredibly low and if it if if everything they're saying is true that they're just they are working on it they're just trying to get it going um, you know it it is what it is uh, there's nothing I can do I'm not I'm definitely not gonna go to uh, Japan and try to protest um, <clears throat> if any if anything if I go to Japan um, I'm gonna go there for for the purposes of opening uh, a Bitcoin market and and um, be able to do real-world trades in Japan um, with real people with real money like in, in, if I was in Japan it'd be yen so I'd be trading in yen and uh, <clears throat> just to let you know I've been I've been communicating back and forth through customer support and uh, I, I did ask them about uh, you know if I was if I had a Japanese uh, account um, what what do I need to do I mean would it be easier and they kind of replied yes and no they just told them, they answered some of my questions um, I did ask him about you know um, because I read one report that some Mt. Gox users were, were literally selling off their accounts uh, I don't know if they still do um, Bitcoin transfers within Mt. Gox I'm not sure of that but but basically they said um, <clears throat> you have to be a resident a Japanese resident um, to to have a uh, withdrawal in a Japanese in, in yen right uh, in, in the legal currency that 
they're in. So, <clears throat> and and uh, I also found out that I also asked what's the minimum age, and the minimum age is uh, 18. Of course, I would ex I was expecting that to be the answer, um, but I made some proposals about if if it was unusual uh, for um, an investor to um, purchase from other Mt. Gox accounts, like. Uh, you know, obviously you can't withdraw your your bitcoins, but <clears throat> uh, maybe if someone's p having fiat currency problems, withdrawal issues. <clears throat> I was wondering if there's any Mt. Gox account users that that be willing to sell me their bitcoins um, at a you know reduced price because uh you know I am I am taking a risk here that they they may never allow withdrawals, um, but but considering the the discount that I might get for for basically cashing out any Mt. Gox um, <clears throat> uh, account users, I mean, I I, <clears throat> I see an opportunity, and they didn't directly answer that particular question. Um, they did they, they they kind of just referred to as um, they're 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 saying basically, hey, we're gonna we're gonna try to fix this, so you know, hold on tight. And uh, you know, I hope this answers all your question. And you know, they they're obviously not gonna give me a direct answer. I don't I don't expect them to to give me a direct answer um, before they announce it to everyone, um, because that would be insider information. So so even though they're not like a, a stock company or a forex or or you know they're not uh, regulated in that way, um, I think they're they're saying you know you have to be. Uh, cautious about your your information, especially when you're working at this particular company. So it, you know it can be construed as uh, divulging inside information, inside trader, inside trading, which they, maybe they are doing, but you know you never you, you never know. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, so so I can confirm the address change because there it is, and then the update on the update. So. You know um, that my money was never going to go anywhere, and I guess my bitcoins at that exchange aren't going anywhere. But but at the same time, it's so so cheap. I mean, it's uh, hold on, it's actually gone down a little bit more. Is it down to 130, 136? Okay. So the low, the low is 130, 134 so far, which um, that's that's about right. That's the low right there, and uh, I have some buy orders around that price level, which it probably probably hit. And man, I could buy like one or two bitcoins at a time. It's so so cheap here. And like I said, if if you're a legitimate trader, and in 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 my message to them, I told them please verif uh, check my verification, and you know uh, if if I wasn't really interested, you know I, I was interested about the. Um, Issues with their their cash withdrawal issues. If 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 I was a if I had a Japanese account and if I was a Japanese citizen, would that make it? Would, would that be any faster? And they didn't say directly yes, but I think um, what they're conveying was uh, you know you have to be a Japanese resident in order to have a Japanese bank account, which means basically you could be a foreign citizen as long as you have a Japanese residence resi resi residency in Japan. Uh, you'll probably be able to open a bank account there, which um, you know what I, I might open my uh, markets in Japan because um, oh excuse me I'll, I'll be right back hold on all right sorry about that I took care of a few things and uh, forgot where I left off but anyways uh, there's the price looks like it's going down a little bit more but uh, you know it is what it is. Um, there's nothing I can do um, at this point in time, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, trading at Mt. Gox, exclusively, uh, exclusively at Mt. Gox, is not, not a big issue for me because, uh, you know, there's a few other exchanges. Um, <clears throat> it, since I'm in America, another thing um, you probably want to do is, you know, if you, if you have Bitcoins and if you, and if you got gained Bitcoins, um, you should pull them out probably uh, maybe over to um, something in America um, for example uh, I use coinbase a lot but I don't I don't know any other thing going on in America right now other than coinbase and and since I'm legitimate 
it works with my bank. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Um, so all I can do is wait, and, and we'll, we'll see. Let me see what other is issues did they come up with here. Um, so I, I, I talked about the address, right? The ad there is an address change. And then the, apparently there is one more protester, and I'm not... And there's pictures of it and everything. Apparently they had some break-ins maybe. Um, let me see. There was a picture of uh, a protester. Where is, is it in this one? So they got another protester. There it is. Another protester. Um, so, anyways, um, there you go. Um, sorry if I lost track of what I was going to talk about. Um, but let's go, I guess, uh, uh, chart analysis time. And uh, here, let me see if I can is that a little bit better. Kind of. Um, so as you see here, this is a uh, bit. This is bit stamp. And it, this is this was a supporting line. This is another supporting line that I put in there. And it as as it was going to, it looked like it was it was about to come out of this, you know, uh, resistance. But it fell back down and and is continuing down on this longer resistance here. And so that's what the price is. It's kind of been ranging so far in these two price ranges here from here to here. So um, it, it's kind of weird how it works out, and then and then it looks like it's reacting inversely to this other triangle coming out here, to the different way it goes out on a downtrend. But uh, we'll just see. You know, um, I'm taking more of a uh, for my personal um, my personal stash of bitcoins that I that I want to keep forever, or or expend at a different uh, point in time. Um, <clears throat> I'm making strategic buys. You know, um, I'm not I'm not going gung ho. I'm not you know putting my life savings in here, but um, I am doing more trades, both uh, in the exchange at Mount Cox and in the real world. So I'm still taking advantage of price fluctuations, volatility. Uh, I'm not be able to use Mount Cox for that reasons, but I can still trade at Mount Cox, and uh, you know these prices are. They're not a problem for me. I mean, I, I'm, it allows me actually to acquire more bitcoins. And and here you go. You see the same thing. And it looks like it was just about to go out. It was following the support line, and it, it started dropping, and then it just started to fall from there and back into this uh, top resistance here. And so it's 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 you're just gonna have to be, excuse me. Uh, you're just gonna have to be patient. Uh, sometimes um, you know. Uh, you got to learn uh, as a as you get ex more experience in trading, you have to learn how to capitalize on a downtrend market as well as on an uptrend market. On an uptrend market, it's very easy. You're 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 buying, you're buying, you're buying, you're buying, right? And and everybody loves when the price goes up, but you have to also learn how to deal with when the price goes down. And so, um, am I selling? Yes, I am selling. But I'm only selling to buy back in at a lower price, so I can get more bitcoins. So um, there, there is a way to play a short, all right. But but you have to have bitcoins in order to short bitcoins. So so since this uh, uh, trading platform is locked, um, right now all I'm trying to do is gain bitcoins or money, uh, vice versa, it doesn't matter. Um, and and just wait it out until they they get their shit together. That's all I can say. But I'm still trading and I'm still using Mount Gox price uh, as a valid uh, price to to buy to make a buy order. So if someone came up to me and, and asked me if I'm buying, I said, well I'll I'll pitch this price to them first. If not, I'll try to do something in between BitC and Mount Gox because uh, Mount Gox is leading, is a leading indicator. So if this is a leading indicator, in my opinion, um, these prices, these other, as much as they don't want to go down, and as much as the, the miners and maybe other investors don't want to see it go down, uh, we have to consider the fact that uh, this is the price of Mount Gox for Bitcoins. We can't just ignore that. Um, even though if you know, I don't know if they're going insolvent or they will go out of business, but until they actually do, 
um, this price for Bitcoin is well I, I can you know I can use it you know it's still it's still in play so I don't have a problem with that you know I, I'd, I'd be more than happy to pay Mt. Gox price for your Bitcoins so I'm using this price uh, I doubt I'll get many any 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 sellers but but it's, it's something for me to negotiate uh, you know they may sell me Bitsy price or they may sell me something below Bitsy price so you know use it to your advantage uh, you, you have to learn how to trade on the down channel as well as on, on an up channel and learn how to take advantage of, of those different channels so you know um, I'm if, if you're in Mt. Gox, my recommendations to you is, you know, just wait it out. You, you really don't have a choice, but but if you're going to wait it out, you might as well take advantage of all the sellers. Uh, here's your chance to gain Bitcoins. Um, the only way you can short a Bitcoin is you actually have to own a Bitcoin, okay, in order to short it in, in these exchanges. So, um, that that's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Anyways, uh, so I guess this concludes uh, this episode. I don't have much anything else here. Um, other than let's take a look at Mount Gox again, and I'll do it on a one hour. And let's are these other ones okay? The the, the other ones are on a one hour. And so what 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 I'm seeing is, um, you know, it did the same thing. It looked like it was gonna break out, but it broke broke down and it, and it kind of went down pretty pretty good and staying within this down channel so until it actually breaks out of this down channel um, it's still a downtrend and you may want to cautiously put in your orders um, till you uh, until you're satisfied if worst case scenario you got half in money and half in bitcoins I mean you know that's another way to, to hedge yourself in this trading platform so uh, I guess this concludes this episode. I didn't know what I was going to necessarily talk about, but um, I, let me see. I think I mentioned, well, okay. Uh, I guess the last thing I want to say is, um, you know, I did write back to them saying, I appreciate you, you replying to my uh, support questions. And I, I did let them know that, uh, you know, their information did help me. Uh, basically, you have to be. Uh, they're they're saying you, you, to open a bank account in Japan, you have to be a Japanese resident. So you could be a foreign citizen, but they're saying you have to be a resident. They're, they're they're they were implying that you have to be a Japanese resident in order to have a Japanese bank account, which is actually not not a problem for me, um, because uh, worst case scenario, I can. Uh, I was going to go ahead and open up business operations as an investor in Japan so I will be having a bank account in Japan and I, I will be doing real-world trades in Japan um, you know so uh, I'm gonna get there I'm, I'm going global with this and so I will have a presence in, in almost every country that has it you know if you chances are if there's an exchange in that country I will have a banking presence uh, in that country because I, I'm going to be trading in the real world in that country along with that exchange. That's that's my goal anyway. So if so, if there's any legal action that I can take to, that that would protect me as an investor, uh, whether I'm a foreign citizen or 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 a citizen or, or not, I'm not sure. Um, you know. Um, that's that's one way where you could make a play on that trade. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope you you're all enjoying the the documentation, the video documentation, the the video, the vlog, I guess you call it, uh, of uh, Bitcoin trading. And until next time, uh, oh yeah, don't forget to like, dislike, uh, comment, uh, even leave a video response. Until next time, stay tuned.